It's cold again in New York. Holy smokes. Must be a hole. Hole in the ozone, you know? 40 degrees, April April 15, 2018. It's supposed to be warm already, right? It was warm yesterday, 7. My name is Marcus Conti. Candidate for United States Senator for New York. Ha ha. I think we can win. I think we can make a good showing anyway. I'm going to need all your help. When you work for a politician, right? When you work for a, on a political campaign, you're working for the politician. If you should decide to work on this campaign, you're working for you. It's for you. It's not for me. That, this is good. This is good stuff, man. We can we can do this. Kirsten Gillibrand is a is a slime ball, is a money grabber. So is Chuck Schumer, right? What better place? What better place to run for senator than in the most corrupt fucking political environment in 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 modern history, New York State? Ah, all of they're all here. Schumer, Gillibrand. Gillibrand, <clears throat> the seat that's available in 2018 is uh, Kirsten Gillibrand, who, when Hillary Clinton ran for senator, uh, when she ran for president, she was senator of New York, right? And when she decided to do that, I think she dropped the Senate seat and she passed it on to <coughs> Gillibrand, excuse me. So Gillibrand wasn't uh, uh, officially elected. I don't know what it is. But then she ran in 2012, and she was uh, she she beat the Republican, you know, handsomely by about 70 percent. Right. So, well, what has she done since? Uh, nothing. She's a talking talking head, a mule, right? Talking head. She's totally total conspirator in the the stealing of the 2016 election. She's a Russia, 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 Russia bot, right? You gotta get rid of that lady, right? You gotta get rid of her. We're gonna make a good run, right? And when we get there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna personally stick my elbow in Chuck Schumer's eyeball. Give Bernie Sanders a hug. Right? So why am I doing this, right? Who am I? I'm, my name is Marcus Conti. Am I qualified to be the senator of New York? Fucking damn right I am. See, of the people, by the people, and for the people, right? I'm college educated, right? Went to college. Got more degrees than a thermometer, but that's not what makes that. That's not what makes me makes me qualify. I don't think. Also, just for the record, I am a native New Yorker. I meet all the qualifications. There's no write-in requirements in New York State for Senate. That's for the presidency. If you run for president of the United States, you have to get a you have to get a document that says. A verified, notified document and presented to the Board of Elections in that state to be considered as a write-in candidate. In New York State, you don't need it. For senator, for president, you do. But I don't, we'll talk about that another time. But right now, for for United States Senator of New York, my name is now officially in consideration because of you. Right? That's how it works. There's no. No, 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 no other certification whatsoever. So, so I'm all about. I'm all about. I believe, you know, my beliefs. You could follow my, who I am, by looking at the videos that I've done. I got. I started as a whistleblower. I was a New York City enforcement agent for the Department of Sanitation, right? And I saw, you know overt corruption in the form of uh, illegal ticket quotas, uh, racism, discrimination. But mostly I saw was this follow your orders bullshit, right, that we see that is terribly corrupting our politics. Right? It's all about politicians grabbing the money and then screaming down the, down the ladder of command, follow your orders, just do what you're told, right? This kind of bullshit, right, is... Is killing us. If nothing else, Trump calls it political correctness. We got to we got to stop that. Right? So, so in terms of uh, so the so the the, the seat pays. I want to put this on the record too. The uh, United States Senate, if you're elected, 
it pays $174,000 a year. I'll take that money. I'm not going to say that I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm a poor person, really. I mean, so I would, I'm a regular person. I'm not a poor person. I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich in, it's windy today, so I'm in my windy spot. But the, the building blocked me. So, you know, so, um, so I will take that salary of $174,000, but not a dime more. Right? Nothing more. I don't want anything. I don't want any pack money or any any of the shit polluting the, the, the corruption polluting my my mind stream what I want is you see I want I'm not going to change I'm not going to cut my hair and I'm not going to you know play patty cake with a bunch of jerk off politicians in DC I'm going to be who I am and if elected I'm going to go in there exactly who I am and I'm going to bang on the fucking table until people listen right for you not for me my, pro, my, my platform is down below All the things that I believe in And I am open to suggestion Someone already suggested that uh, Term limits One term is two years is not enough Right? Okay I thought about it, I agree Give them two 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 year terms Someone also mentioned in the comments below That uh, I, I missed that one the Election integrity Paper ballots, yes, but I have to, I don't believe that paper ballots in themselves would be enough. You have to, it has to be a publicly counted paper ballot. So if you have paper ballots, that's not good enough because the corrupt politicians will just take those paper ballots into another room and count them and say, yeah, you, you lost, sorry. Right? So it has to be, it has to be a public counting. So I'll talk more about the platform, but essentially my platform is down below. And um, it's not enough to have a platform. It's not enough to believe in certain things. It's how you're going to get it done. How are you going to get it done with a judiciary system that doesn't work anymore? A political system that, that throws evidence to the wind and it's all about politics and follow your orders. The elections don't count anymore. How do you win? You got to get up and fucking scream. That's, what, that's the bottom line, Right? So in New York, you know, two, what is it, uh, Gillibrand got, I think, three million votes in New York of a population of 50, 50 million, I think it is. I don't know, I got to look at the numbers. But I think there's uh, 50 million people in New York and three million voted in that election for her. So we have to come pretty, you know, we have to take a nice, or four million, we have to take a nice chunk of those votes away from her. In terms of writing, right? That's all you have to do is write in my name, Marcus Conti. Spell it right, M-A-R-C-U-S, Conti, C-O-N-T-E. As far as uh, donations and contributions, sure, I mean, I'll, I'll take, as we move forward, if I think that there's monies needed to advance the ball, I'll make a plea. At this time, it, it's I don't really see the need for it. What I think would work more so is you, right, doing what I'm doing, which is, and I know people that there's a lot of people that are, that are watching this are not are not New Yorkers, so your vote's not going to count. But you can affect the vote, and this is how you do it. You have to. We have to become a visual campaign, right? I'm not going to go knocking on doors. I'm not going to stand in a fucking subway station with a, with a suit on, with, with a fake smile saying, hey, vote for me. <laughs> Fuck that. That doesn't, it's, it's, it's been done. It doesn't work. It's, yet you end up, you become, you become the enemy. Right? You become just like the rest of them, right? That's not what, that's not change. What I'm talking about is, if people like you made video and and plugged this campaign, right, in your own words, why would you vote for this guy, this this character from, from New York, Marcus Conti? Why why is it important to vote for this guy? Why would you why should you, a New York state resident, vote for Marcus Conti? Not because I went to public school, not because I'm a whistleblower. Not because I know my way around the legal system. Not because I 
I believe, you know, none of, you know, those are the reasons, right? But look at the platform, right? And and you look into the camera and you say, this is the guy you want to vote for, right? In your words, not my words, I can only say I'm only one mouth, right? But if, if we come, come together and many, many people start yakking about it, right? Why, why, is, why, is, why is this Conti guy running, right, as a write-in? He doesn't even want to go down and fucking sign up. He, don't even want, he doesn't want any part of them. He just wants to know that people wrote him in. And then we'll do something when the election's over. If they try to, if it looks like we won, then we'll we'll challenge it. That's when we'll we'll petition the, you know, put all our lawyers together. We'll get all our lawyers in a row, and we'll go in and we'll challenge it. We'll count. We'll do a count. Right? But until that, it's all just the, you know, the hard work is getting the message out there. And I can't do it alone. And money doesn't really, money isn't the answer. It's it's. It's people. It's honesty. Go in front of make a video, right? And say this is this is why this guy should win. This is why New Yorkers, New York City, New York State. This is why it should work. And then post it. Get the video and post it. I'll post it. I'll talk about it. Um, right? See, I think outside of the box, right? Think outside of the box. My life is an open book. You can go through my, you know, I, I purposely did it. I, maybe I was planning to do this. Who knows? Right? But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen by accident. So you can go through my, my life story. Again, I, I, I grew up in, I grew up in, right here in Brooklyn, New York. So I was 10 and I moved over to Staten Island. I went to Syracuse University, so I know the, that's in the middle of New York State. So I went to college in New York State. I'm a product of the public school system. I, I lived through Ed Koch, Rudy Giuliani, the, the original Mario Cuomo as governor. So I know New York. I know New York politics. I, but I'm just a regular guy. I'm not going to change. I, nothing's going to change. I, Nothing's going to change. I want to. I want to. I believe in that platform that you're reading down below. I believe every word of it. I believe that the system is deeply corrupt, and that politician that we've lost our way in terms of our politics. That we're bamboozled to think that the politics don't really matter. We vote for you know reality TV stars and you know politicians that are overtly corrupt, and nothing ever changes. The wars continue. We could argue, yeah, lock up Hillary Clinton and, you know, and there's mountains of evidence. There's nothing, nothing's going to happen because the politics are jammed up. It, the whole system is frozen. And the people in power are going to stay in power until you get them out of power. And you change the system. My name is Marcus Conti. Still an investigative journalist, but candidate for uh, United States Senator for New York. Peace out.